All right. We want to welcome to the uh, program this morning the uh, winner of The Voice from, uh, well, I'm going to say Sacramento. Maybe she's back home. What is her new home? Gina Miles, good morning. How are you? And congratulations. Good morning. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Are you back uh, out of Los Angeles, back up to Sacramento, or uh, where are you at this morning? No, but I'm still in L.A. today. (laughs) I've got to ask you, uh, has it sank in yet? uh, Watching your reaction on Tuesday night and and seeing, you know, you were definitely in a state of shock. What point did it finally settle in, or has it, that you're the winner of The Voice? (laughs) I don't think it fully has, but everybody keeps telling me that, so <laughs> I think I might have. Now, for the previous weeks, you've had everything's been voice focused, and you've had a lot of different, you know, people around you with, you know, do this, do that, helping you along the path. What's the future look like? That's got to be an adjustment right there to have all that buzz suddenly, you know, gone. I, I know you've got a future of uh, different appearances and music to make and so forth. Uh, but have they given you any kind of heads up or coach coaching you what to expect now that things have, are going to quiet down just a little bit and get focused on a career? Well, I definitely, I, I had those expectations no matter uh, what happens after the show. Um, so I'm, I'm just excited to, to do my own thing now. I think the show has really given me an amazing platform and I'm ready to just keep, keep walking along and, and keep it steady, you know. Let me ask you, and I know it was revealed on on the show uh, probably numerous times. Uh, what point in your life did you was your voice discovered? Did you discover it and go, "Hey, I can sing," or did somebody else hear you singing, your dad or somebody, and go, "Hey, listen, you, you've got some you've got some skills and talent there." How did that come about? I just I was always singing. Uh, I, my dad's a DJ, so I had a very musical upbringing, and I think the first person who ever heard me sing was my sister. I have an I have an older sister and. Um, we would always sing together. So it was never a serious thing until like more recent years. Uh, it was more just something I, I liked to do for fun. Um, and it became a, a bit bigger of a thing. So as you look forward and, and obviously you've got some doors that have opened up for you and more likely to be opening up. Is there a particular path you want to go genre, uh, places to perform, people you want to sing with? What has gone through your mind of like, maybe all this is possible now, and, and this is what I really want to do? Yeah, I, I'm i excited to, to put my own voice out and, and my own music. It's, it's really cool on the show, all the things that we get to sing, but I'm also excited to sing my own music and do my own things as well. Um, and I, I'm excited to... to to sing places, I, I really, I'm. Besides being on the show, I, I've only ever done gigs where you just happen to be there. Nobody really comes to see you, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So, being on the show, it was really different experience where people are very there to 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 be entertained and, and watch performances. So, I, I hope to do more shows like that. Now, you're originally from Paxton, Illinois, but you moved out to Sacramento. Uh, to be with your aunt, to get into the uh, music world. Are you still there in Sacramento? Is that going to be home, or are you going to uh, change uh, locations now? I might end up moving. I, I'm i definitely open to the idea. I think L.A. was a little bit intimidating at first, but I, I do really like it, and I've come to enjoy it a bit more. Well, let me ask you, uh, because a lot of us know, uh, we're from Cal- you know, here in California as well, and a lot of us know Sacramento. What differences did you find when you first uh, made that transition from Illinois to California and more specifically to Sacramento? What are some of the pluses and minuses? There's just like a lot more going on. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm from a very small town and um, in the Midwest, so it's, it's a, a little bit of a culture shock here, and there's just a lot of there's so many people like I just have never been in a space where I've seen this many people in one place, <laughs> especially the cities. Um, of course, like Chicago, I've, I've been and everything, but it has a very different vibe than California. So it was very different and unexpected. So the show, I know, and I've talked to all the different voice contestants over the last 12 years and all the winners and stuff like that. You make a lot of friendship connections. Is there a special one that uh, you've made and that you know will you'll have for the rest of your life now from this season? Absolutely. Carla, Carla Bannum, my battle partner from this season, um, is literally my best friend. I love her so much. She, she came 
to the finale uh, to support me. Um, and she's been an amazing person uh, and also an amazing artist. She's, she's so cool, and I love singing with her. It's one of my favorite things. Awesome. Well, let's simplify it with the last question. We're coming up on Memorial Day weekend. You've had such a crazy previous months. What are you going to be doing here tomorrow and over the Memorial Day weekend? Share with everybody what you, what your plans are. You? Um, I I really haven't had time to plan anything. <laughs> I, I I'm hoping to just spend time with my family. I think that's the most important thing. So hopefully, just hanging out with my family. All right. Well, listen. Gina, congratulations. Well-deserved. I picked you, by the way, when it got down to the end. I, I figured it was you and Gretchen, and then when the two of you were standing there, I turned to my wife. I said, it's going to be Gina, and boom, you won. You well-deserved of that. You've got so much talent, and I look forward to music that uh, you're going to be producing, playing it on the radio, and getting to concerts and seeing you in person because we will be showing up because you are there, and you just didn't happen to be there, all right? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Congratulations. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your time with the family. And thanks for joining us here this morning on The Morning Show. No, you as well. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.